What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and today I'm driving a tank. All right, so this is cool. This is an Abbott tank. I'm here at Drive a Tank in Minnesota. Minnesota's halfway across the country for everybody, unless you live in the middle of the country and then it's where you live. But there's a company here that allows you to drive a tank. And when they reached out to me and said, would you like to drive a tank? And then they had a whole bunch of other words after that. And I was like, yeah, I did not read the rest of the email. And somehow I ended up here and I'm going to drive this among other things. Tell me everybody that grew up now, YouTube hates tanks and guns and everything like that. So if you see this, send it to your friends because let's, let's stuff it to that algorithm. I mean, this is cool. This is like every guy and kid with the GI Joes and everything has wanted to play with a tank. And I'm going to do that. I'd like to fire that gun too. All right, you said pedal on the left is just a dead pedal? Yeah, that's just there for your foot to push yourself back in the seat. Find that gas, get him a tap, let me know where you're going, let me know where you're going. Okay, now give it the stick. Off we go. All right, let's do it. So there's no like, clutch or anything like that. Not on this. Okay. Like an automatic transmission. Yeah, like... I just want to make sure I'm not yeah. damaging anything by sitting in neutral or not. Now we're going to go through the water. Now we go through the water, yeah. And you're not going to get wet, right? No, we won't get wet. Uh, Take it nice and easy, you'll be fine. I mean, I was going to rage. It's pretty low right now, so. Oh, we're all wet down there. I figured the more water I could get on it, I thought it would be cool to have the water sort of wash over the top. There's a hole in my ship. Here's my hole. That's, that's where the water came in and went up my ass. That, th them pants. Try explaining that one to the wife. Which way I go with Yep, you're in that one. So easy to get into. I hear you just fine. I don't think I'm going to need these anymore. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, we're good to go whenever. I'm a girly man. All right. Okay. Same thing. Second. So we started here driving the Abbott. The Abbott is a cool tank. It's uh, fairly easy to drive. They show you how to operate it because this could be pretty intimidating for a lot of people to, uh, to drive it. But then when you see the drive a tank sticker on the side, you're like, oh, it's almost like a toy, but it's not like a toy. It's an actual tank. And this one, not gonna lie, it was fun, but cumbersome. And I think I almost caught the barrel of my gun on a tree, but help me get the feel for the old girl. And then we switched over and this one's nice because it's got some of these things that you don't have, some of the, the niceties that you don't have on the other one because I had air conditioning, which is my head was sticking out there, which is nice. The other one over here, it's an APC. I did not have air conditioning, I was inside. And this one, it does have a, uh, a front trunk, which is nice. You can put some stuff in it. You can bring your luggage with you, which is always good, but no gun. Uh, and no gun, no turret on the top, which means it's much lighter and it goes much faster. By pulling the left one, you go left. You pull the right one, you go right. You have to go even harder, you pull it even harder. It starts by, and this is, these are both automatic transmissions. It starts by increasing the speed on the one and then it applies a brake to the other one if you have to go harder. And that's when you can make a harder turn. But I was inside working the controls uh, and looking through a periscope, which I found this one more fun. It's much more fun to be in the front of this than the back of this, because if you're in the back, you're just along for the ride or like get the shovel and go dig us out if we get stuck. But it's funny, you can see the, the frame of it looks like it could have the turret mounted on here. So it's almost like the same thing. So what's in the back of the other one is what you ask. It's an excellent question, because I just thought of that. When you're in your tank, 
your in your tank for a while. All right. Can you see all the way? Oh yeah, you can. So that's right down the barrel. You can see the rifling in the barrel too, except this is no longer fireable. Just imagine being in here spitting out rounds. I guess the rounds will go here, load them in, crank it down. Cool. And you got little round holders here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's so about 35 rounds are stored in here and then figure you'd have one in the barrel at all times. Whose idea was it to make a tank? These are pretty badass. It's just the sights. It's like a periscope. That's pretty cool. All right, well, if you wonder what it was like to be inside a tank, now you know. Oh, I guess you can go out that way too. If you've seen the movie Fury, you get an idea of what it's like to be in a tank, but it doesn't really feel like you're in a tank. I'm excited to drive the next one because we're getting bigger from here. These are like the training tanks. We thought it'd be a training tank. These are them. I'm going to drive a T-55, which is the big Russian large in charge battle tank. <laughs> This one screamed Rob. When you saw this car, you're like, this is a Rob car. All right, so this car here looks like something I would use in a $500 car challenge. Instead, I'm going to use it for a tank. No, I know. Some say the Saturns are built. What is that? The Saturn? Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile, the Alero. That's a fast one. What a terrible car, except Carroll Shelby said that was the best power plant to put in his Shelby Series 1. I don't think he was telling the truth. This is why they have the airbag recall. Those airbags should have gone off. I mean, the frame was rusted out anyway, so all of the guys on the internet, they're like, oh, I could have driven that car. Suck that one. Oh my God, it's got a baby's pacifier in it. Look at the history of this vehicle. This was somebody's uh, safety car. Look at the baby clothes. Somebody's not really good at keeping things from going under the seats. So here's the... Uh, fanny pack to date the car. I didn't crush the fanny pack. At least I'm pretty sure the baby was not in it and it was just some crap. But look at this spare held up very well. I'm like the type of guy who wants to turn the key to see if it still starts. So if there was any doubt as to who would win in a fight, tank or car, you're an idiot. Tank wins every time. Now it's a true compact. All right, let's go shoot some guns. All right, now we're gonna shoot this thing. Can we shoot it inside or do we need ear protection? So you see the tracks here, the Back to the Future tracks over the car. You don't even really feel it. It's not even like a speed bump, it's pretty cool. In case you were wondering what it feels like to be so big and, I don't know, uh, intrusive or prodigious. 
This thing, this is the part of the car under the tank. Cool stuff. All right, I got my earplugs, things, whatever. Got a Barrett 50, which is just awesome. Shavam's got one of those, but he's never fired it. Got a saw, which is a belt fed awesomeness. This is a, just a MP, what is that? Are we shooting that? That's the Barking Chihuahua. The Barking Chihuahua, who doesn't like that? Uh, this is a Tommy gun, this is always good, the Dick Tracy style. This is a, what do we say, what's this? Chris Vectors. Chris Vectors, that, that's cool. The bullpup guns are always fun. And then this, MG42, that's cool. Have some fun. I, I'm gonna see if I can hit the target 15 feet away. Wish me luck. Not terrible. They're fucked. Could be worse. Oh, they're good and dead. <laughs> they're good and dead. Yeah. Yeah, they are good and dead. Got it. What do we got? Let's see. I'm pretty confident about this. Pretty clean target. Yeah, kind of work, huh? Oh, there you go. So, how was driving tanks, you ask? Clearly, it was awesome. Driving these things is so overwhelming at first, but once you get used to them, it's a super good time. Crushing the car, always a good time. You didn't even feel it, but it was definitely worth doing. It's one of those experiences that you would regret not doing in your life because even though it was one day of my entire life, I will remember this forever because it was so cool and so unique. So if you want to check them out, now is the time. Visit their website and go check them out up in Minnesota. Drive a tank. How do you get this to shift? It's locked in now. All right, so as intimidating as it might look, it was a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, you definitely want to come out here. It is living the childhood dream to be able to plow through in one of these things. Driving a tracked vehicle is cool and completely different. I've driven excavators, completely different. So if you want to check it out, you want to be a big kid or a man child like myself, Visit driveatank.com, check them out. They're in Minnesota, and it's pretty much the only reason to go to Minnesota if you're not going to a Twins game, if the Twins are even still in the league. Who knows? But they have tanks, they have many tanks, and they are absolutely a tremendous amount of fun. The only problem is I sort of want a tank now, but luckily I found out they're very expensive, so I talked myself out of that very quickly. This one, by the way, has a hole in the bottom, and that hole got me wet, but I'm dry now. All right, driveatank.com, check them out. It's fun. And my wife was like, why are you going to drive tanks? I'm like, because I want to drive a tank. And for every guy that's like, yeah, I can see having that conversation. It's worth it. See you next time.